मशीन एक्स थर्टी थाउजेंड फोर्टी फिफ्टी थर्टी एज वेल एज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड मशीन वाई वी हैव टेन थाउजेंड थर्टी फोर्टी सिक्सटी फोर्टी वॉट इज दिस कैश फ्लो इन केस पी वी फैक्टर इज नॉट गिवन वेरी सिंपल इफ इट इज टेन परसेंट वन डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस आर दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला Hello everyone. This is your Adesh sir here. Lecturing with the Ashram Facility College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are in the session two of your topic called Capital Budgeting. Now under Capital Budgeting, what we are going to discuss? Now in the previous session, we discussed about all the theory aspects of Capital Budgeting and what are the things we are going to find out in the Capital Budgeting. We discussed like. we discuss about your npv net present value we discuss about your payback period when the returns has to be collected and we discussed about arr accounting rate of return and these are the things we discussed in the previous session and i gave you one example problem also how to do all this calculation now in today's session we'll discuss about your capital budgeting and your session to so concept meaning as well as problems a company is considering to purchase a machine two machines are available machine x and machine y each machine costing rupees 1 lakh earning after tax are exempted as follows now very simple concept remember we have two machines here one will be machine x and machine y machine costing 1 lakh earning after tax are expected as follows what is the value of the machine 1 lakh what is the cost here x and y we have to 1 lakh worth rupees there are two options are there should i go for machine x or should i go for machine y both cost you how much 1 lakh cost may be equal but what about returns if you go for machine x what will be your return if you go for machine y what will be your return easiest one will understand now here column we have estimated annual cash flow we have machine x and machine y also we have now machine x 30000 40 50 30 as well as 20000 Machine Y, we have ten thousand thirty forty sixty forty. What is this cash flow? Not outflow. It is a cash inflow. If you spend in machine X, these are your inflow. First year you will get thirty thousand from that machine. Second year forty, fifty, thirty, and twenty thousand. If you spend one lakh in machine Y. Ten thousand thirty forty sixty forty. These are your returns from that machine. You are required to evaluate two machines according to payback period and NPV. We are supposed to find out only two. One is payback and the other one is NPV. Now, year one, two, three, four, five. Total we have five years. These are the PV factors we have. Sometimes in the question paper they will not give you PV factor. What to do? In case PV factor is not given, very simple. If it is ten percent, one divided by one plus R. This is a formula. Now, one divided by one plus R means what? Ten percent. I can call it as zero point one zero. So how to calculate? See, one. Divided by one point one zero, I got zero point nine zero nine. Just equals zero point eight two six plus just equals zero point seven five one. So like this, we will get all the percentage now. so before we start our problem just will understand the concept in the present problem earning after depreciation and taxation are given see i'll go back to your question estimated annual cash flow they have not mentioned taxation earning after tax and expected 
after tax means our half of the calculation reduced again a little bit after tax means half of the our problem is reduced after tax see what is the concept means i'll tell you they will give you earning what we are supposed to do minus depreciation minus taxation after doing all this we have to add back depreciation then you will get your net earning hope you are clear this is a concept your earning minus why we minus depreciation means because we need to calculate tax minus depreciation minus taxation add back whatever depreciation you have deducted then you are you will get net earning clear but in this problem what happened earning after tax they have given net earning directly no need of all this calculation hope you are clear next session we'll do problem with the earning well minus depreciation minus taxation add back depreciation you will get net earning in this problem net earning they have given directly all these calculations are not required why because they only calculated and given the final answer hope you are clear yes see in the present problem earning after depreciation and taxation are given see already they have done and given while calculating payback period and npv we have to add depreciation amount to the earning to get net cash inflow or we can also assume that the given cash inflow or net cash inflow there is cash inflow after tax before depreciation all these thing you have to remember before you start your problem now in this first calculation as i told you it is only after tax but not after tax depreciation now we are doing for x these are the income 30 40 50000 30000 20000 20, what is the depreciation 1 lakh number of years 1 2 3 4 5 years 1 lakh divided by 5 years your depreciation is 20000 what is your depreciation 20000 now your 30000 40 50 30 20 add back depreciation so we are doing for x 30 plus 50 how much 50000 40 plus 20 60 50 plus 20 70 30 plus 20 50 20 plus 20 40 just we added depreciation why we added i'll tell you so earning after tax after this earning after tax after this what we should do plus depreciation then you will get net income hope you are clear earning after tax means they have given earning after deducting minus tax so we should add depreciation then you will get net earning hope you are clear s yes. if they have given earning before tax then we have to start from here okay now so in this you got all this thing we need cumulative how to find out cumulative 50000 yes 50 plus 60 110 110 plus 70 180 230 270 all these answers you got now what is your investment 1 lakh when you get your 1 lakh after first year in between second year you got your 1 lakh again i'll repeat after first year in between second year you got your 1 lakh we don't know exactly when did you collect we'll do that now similarly for y all the income Yes, add depreciation. Yes, add ten plus twenty. Add everything over. Cumulative thirty thousand. Thirty plus fifty. Eighty plus sixty. One forty plus eighty. Two twenty plus sixty. Two eighty. Hope you are clear. Yes. X is separate. Y is separate. Now, all calculation. When did you get your one lakh back? Your investment first year. No. 
second no third year in between of second and third year you got your one lakh back now if you go with the calculation we calculate payback period now how to calculate year before full recovery if you don't understand formula i'll explain you in a simple manner now we'll go back to first one you need one lakh when did you collected your one lakh first year have you collected no second year you have collected more than one lakh second year you have collected more than one lakh in between first and second you collected one lakh what is the difference between first and second 60000 what is the difference 60000 but how much we needed already we got 50 another 50 needed hope you are clear you need 1 lakh after first year we need another 50000 but the difference between first and second is 60000 50000 divided by 60000 Fifty thousand divided by sixty thousand, you got zero point four five four. One year point four five four. Hope you are clear. As yes. similarly, we'll go for second one. You need one lakh first year, no. Second year, no. Two years completed. In between second and third year, we need how much? Already we got eighty thousand. Another twenty thousand needed for one lakh. So twenty thousand. Divide, but what is the difference? Sixty thousand one forty minus eighty sixty thousand twenty thousand divided by sixty thousand twenty thousand divided by sixty thousand two years zero point three 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 years. Hope you are clear. Yes, we got all this calculation. I'll cross check this whether it is correct or not. Fifty thousand divided by sixty thousand. I'll get zero point eight three, not zero point four five. I'll get Zero point eight three three. Your answer is actually one point eight double three. Hope you are clear. Now, so don't consider this zero point four five four. We have to take what? We have to go for one point eight three. Three. Hope you are clear. S. Yes. So this is all about your payback period. If you go for X, one point eight double three. You have to wait. Your whatever you have invested one lakh, you have to wait one year eight months to collect this one. If you go for Y, it will be two point three three years to collect. Which is better? X is better. Within one point eight, you will get back your one lakh. Payback period of machine X is lesser than machine Y. This is all about your payback period. Now let's go for NPV net present value. So this will be your NPV. We are calculating for X. We are calculating for Y. Now very simple. We know what is your discount factor. All these are your discount factor. What is your actual earning? Fifty, sixty, seventy, fifty, forty. Multiply this into this. Forty-five, forty-nine thousand, fifty-two, thirty-four, twenty-four. Add everything. You will get two lakh six thousand five fifty. What is your investment? One lakh minus you got your NPV. Simple one. Clear. Similarly, we'll go for Y. What are the income? Thirty, fifty, sixty, eighty, sixty. Everything is given in the question itself. Multiply thirty thousand with zero point nine zero nine. Multiply fifty thousand with zero point eight two six. Similarly, multiply you will get twenty seven, forty one, forty five, fifty four, thirty seven. The total is two lakh five thousand five thirty. Minus one lakh you got one lakh five thousand five hundred. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, if you go for X, your net present value one lakh six thousand. If you go for Y, your net present value is one lakh five thousand. Which is better? X is better. Why? Because more net present value. The NPV of machine X is more than machine Y. Therefore, it is better to purchase machine X. This much only your capital budgeting. Now. 
I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your problem. Continuation of question. Concept before we start our answer. Solution part to calculate payback period. Solution part of Y to calculate payback period. There is a payback period of X and payback period of Y. There is a net present value of X as well as Y. This is all about your today's section. Hope you understood. So please work out the same problem at your home. Thank you.